Hello, beautiful human. I know you're here for our interview with Forever in Your Mind, but I gotta remind you to subscribe, please. And we have a podcast. Link in the description below. Okay, enjoy. Let's do this. It's a Zach Sang Show. We oh. got Heather, we got Dan, what up? What up? and we have hey. Emery, Ricky, and Liam. Forever in your mom. Right. What's up, Zach Sang? Thanks for coming by, guys. Have, Thanks for having have us. us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Honestly, it's such an honor to have you guys. To be here. I'm sorry. No, honestly, no, no. I came out wrong. No, seriously. No, honestly, <laughs> seriously though, I watched your I watched your videos on YouTube with all the people you interview. It's awesome. Wow. So well, honestly, it's, it's, it's really we great for us. Thank you. Thank you. We've been this whole time, bro. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Number one, and yes, it is an honor to have you here. Sorry. What is the truth? Sorry. We have only really spend very small pockets of time together at yeah. like random yeah. radio rooms yes. over the last couple years and you guys have quite the history like I had no idea until I was starting to do research on you that you guys met each other on the X Factor right yeah, yeah we, we did. did and you guys were which one uh, Ricky did you go with the group yeah, I you was did. in a totally no. separate group. Originally. Okay. Yeah. So you go in with a group, and then Simon pulls you from that group. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like, it was on the show. It was like, really, really you know strange. It happened <laughs> so long ago that like, it's not like I feel if you watch- bad about it because like I was only with the group for a short amount of time. Yeah. And it was like. They were totally cool. They were like, you know, go live out your dream. Like, go, like you're gonna be on X Factor. It's awesome. And I was like. Thanks, guys, and I never talked to him after that. <laughs> if you watch it, we were really friends it. outside of the group. If, if you dude, watch the wait. video, though, like you can like go back and you see like the clips of it. Yeah, and like he's literally in the thing. I'm pretty sure he says like I like you, but the rest like I'm pretty Simon's like <laughs> well, really blatant about it too. But that's classic just, Simon. Yeah. yeah, classic Simon. Yeah. Yeah. Very blatant to me. Yeah. But so well, you because you auditioned as a solo artist. I did. Yeah. And but but back to your group for a second. You guys were you just friends for this X Factor audition or? Did you know each other before? Funny enough, it's, a, it's a really long story. Funny enough, the day before we were put together in a band, we met and we instantly became best friends. Like Aww. we hung out at in uh, his hotel room and we stayed at the Bonaventure in downtown LA. And uh, we just like got to know each other and like we just hung out for that entire 24 hours straight. And it was it was a really fun experience and like we bonded over uh, really ironic pizza and Chex Mix. Did and you did y'all. you bond before he put you in a group together? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, oh, that's yeah. the cool. weird thing. Like we became like instant like really good. It was friends. only us hanging out too. It was only us hanging out and like the next day, the next day like we all like we didn't make it and like we didn't make the cut and like when we saw each other in that room where like everybody was like oh sad we were like oh you know like good meeting you let's get our phone numbers but really we were never gonna see each other again because we lived across the country. But, and then all of a sudden they said, Ricky Garcia, Emma Kelly. And we're like, what? This <laughs> <laughs> is crazy. And from there you guys make it with this guy, John, right? Yeah. yeah. John Clausen. Yeah. Where, by the way, where is John Clausen? I don't know. I don't know. Is he yeah, another yeah. one you just you don't talk to? I think he's still living in, I think, like, he I think moved he, back to, like, he was originally from, like, Indiana, and then he no, moved back. No, like, I think he's here. Yeah, I think, I think no, he's, I know, but he, like, he moved back I do forth, think he's know. still, like, making Got music. Yeah. No, yeah, he's still making music. Uh, I saw him audition for the Boy Band show. Uh, okay. Yeah, and was, then also, yeah, he was on also, it for a yeah, no, but also I see him, uh, I saw him at a Mosaic the Mosaic Church a couple times. Okay. Yeah. He's I've a man of God. Yeah. He, 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 he is. He is. I, I, I never knew him, so I'm not. Yeah. So that uh, let's get back to your history. So it's you guys, right, and John. Yeah. You make it to the final 16 of the X Factor, right? Right before that final 16 is announced, yeah. you guys get cut. The three of you stick together until 2014, right? Which is maybe like a year, right? You are an X Factor 2013 well, or something? Okay, Eight so months. we got pretty much cut, I would say, in... November? No, we were not. No, no. When, well, well, that's TV time. But in yeah. real time, <laughs> we were cut in like August. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We were cut in like August, and then it got aired of us being cut in November. But then, so since that we didn't make it to the 16, the top 16, yeah. we didn't have to sign any of those contracts that hold you for a long time. Which is great. Which is great. Yeah, absolutely. So we we uh, were able to just like make music right then and there. And um, uh, from August to June, is uh, when we were still together, and then John had to leave due to like financial reasons with his family, yeah. and so he had to go back home. And uh, Ricky and I, we had a performance in New York at the DigiFest when it was like really big at the time cool. when Demi Lovato was p- performing, Fifth Harmony, and uh, it was in front of 20,000 people. And we needed a guitarist, and so my dad had the good idea of saying, Yo, why don't you bring your cousin aboard because he, he plays guitar, play. he sings, and <laughs> 
We, him and I, we've been doing uh, performing arts for like <laughs> years before then, and so we called him up. He came out to uh, uh, New York and uh, New York City, and we did the show. And management just really liked the look, and so they bought him a one-way ticket to L.A., and he never went home. Cool. That's fun. Yeah. I mean, he had to go home eventually. Well, yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he, was like, he, was like, he, like, he had like two weeks to pack everything up, and then he was gone for months and months. <laughs> I mean, that's like yeah. a wild ride for you, a call that you probably never expected to get. Well, I think uh, you don't really... When someone asks you that at 15, I don't, it's not really a thought. You're just like, you know, like, you don't think about it. You're just like, yeah, okay. And okay. then just do it, yeah, you know, sure, whatever, that's... Yeah. You know, if anyone was off that at 15, they'd be like, yeah, okay. I had two weeks to say goodbye to everyone, all my friends and stuff, and I just left. It was like, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it was like, yeah, okay. Peace, guys. I mean, it's awful, but at the same time, it's like, if if anyone else was in my position. They would have done it, too. Right. I don't know any kid that would say no. I'm a music person. It's my dream, so I that was... Because you guys were at a stage where, I mean, you're performing shows for 20,000 people. Yeah. I mean, I could really make the argument and be like, yo, John, you should have, like, this is the time to toughen out, bro. <laughs> you know, like, you know, maybe you should have maybe left maybe months ago. Meh. But it's fine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're good. We're good. The, way, the, way, the way it happened, it was like, we wouldn't have gotten to the place that we are now. Yeah. Without Liam, so like everything was perfect the way it is. It's all perfect timing. It I just think. worked because you guys have really gone on quite the transition. Yeah. Yeah. since yeah. X Factor, which I think is really interesting because Disney has kind of been a home for you, kind yeah. of, but not now, really. Now, before we signed with Disney, Ricky and I were going to book a Nickelodeon TV show. Oh, and so we were yeah. we were <laughs> both different roles, and so we were going to be like the best friends on the TV show, and we were going to like fly out to Florida and film it. And uh, Liam was going to come to Florida with us, too, because he had to be with us. Yeah. Uh, so weird thinking about this. Now. I know. And then <laughs> the next day, we have an interview with Radio Disney. And Disney has never met Liam yet. Okay. And so the executives of, like, the building at the Disney, Disney Channel. The Disney yes, Channel. Yes, like, they're all they in the same down. building. Yeah, 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 yeah. The same building in Burbank. And they uh, came all down, and they wanted to, to see the new member. And they were like, hold up. We need a meeting. Let's get a meeting. Because they knew that we were wow. booking Nickelodeon. And so... The next day, we had a meeting with all of the Disney, Disney Channel, Walt Disney, everybody, like the, the corporate people of Disney to like make those big decisions and whatnot. And we did like a, an interview with them, just like had a sit down meeting. We sang a little bit. We did a little improv. Nice. And then, um, yeah, like two hours later, they call us and they're like, Disney want to give you a 360 deal. They want to give you... No, no, you but th- like the cool thing about this... So we're sitting at after Chick-fil-A. We, left, <laughs> yeah, we didn't even know anything was going to happen. Yeah. We yeah. left. We went to go get like Chick-fil-A or something because we also had a performance no, like, we, a day we were, later. Yeah, we were going to... So yeah. It was actually crazy. We were going from that meeting, then we went to a meeting with BMI, which is the music publisher, yeah, to right. set up contracts with that. Yeah, yeah. We had done that. We got out of that meeting, went to Chick-fil-A, because right after that, we were going to pick up a rental van to drive to Arizona. <laughs> For a show? For yeah. a show. Got it. And that we got the call while we were in the Chick fil A uh, drive thru. Uh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. the call was like the weirdest thing ever, but awesome. we were like yeah. the people that were I, taking our order that stand outside the Chick fil A, they were like, why is there so much noise coming from this car? <laughs> so you just you get a whole deal with Nickelodeon, right? You're gonna be Disney. on this TV show. Yeah, well, they, but, well, yeah. But, but you had Nickelodeon originally. Yeah. yeah. And then by chance you get to Disney, you leave Nickelodeon. I'm sure they were very well, it happy. It wasn't about leave that. because you didn't well, it's like No, you didn't leave, but you yeah. had something, you know, in the process, in the pipeline. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously you left for something that was better. The Disney Channel thing, you guys, only one of you ended up being in a TV show, though, right? Yeah, yes, funny friends. enough, we auditioned for the same part, and then he got it. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. but, but, I mean, but there's no, there's no bad about so, it. Like, okay. I'm proud like, of him. The entire deal was like also to <laughs> like be signed to Hollywood Records yes. and to um, also do a pilot, which we had filmed. The Vampire Show. Yes. Yeah, Forever yeah, that was. It was so good, actually. Well, I really wish people could watch it now. Well, it was a really interesting but, concept for yeah. you guys. Like it was, they were a band in the '50s, and in the '50s, you get bitten by, you know, whatever. Vampire bat, bat, bat. And yeah. Then yeah. we just go into hiding for seventy years, and then we're finally like, you know what? Let's let's be real with people. <laughs> let's be let's play music again <laughs> as yeah. vampires. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. So what happened to that? Well, they it didn't so get it tested. Up. It tested. <laughs> yeah. Well, it tested phenomenally, we'll never but then know. they didn't pick it up. So <laughs> yeah, and the test results. It did, Disney, it did it's, better it's than all the shows in seven years. And you what? didn't get. Yeah. What was the? It, it, that's, that's the weird thing about pilots. We don't they can know. do really well. You're never gonna like, know. Whatever. It's also the corporate. It's like the head, and they make the decisions. Like whether it's it yeah. tests really well, whether people really like it. It 
still up to them, and you know they decided mm. we don't want to go younger with the the channel. So we were we were cool with it because you know what? Now we're here. We are making our music. We're making. I know for a fact that if our show came out, it would blow up Disney again, one hundred percent. By the way, like I think you <laughs> said it. You shouldn't say 100%. that. I don't know about that. It would have. Well, I think the re- you you hit the nail on the head, right? They wanted to go younger. I remember yeah, that yeah. time and period I like it, in though, the Disney channel. Uh, we're really good friends with a lot of the. The kids and Andy I know Mac. we know Asher Angel, Asher Angel who's like blowing kid. up and he's cool. doing really good music and he now just yeah. booked the role Shazam so <laughs> it's gonna be good I'm sure it's gonna be big yeah, yeah. Shazam it sounds like you're like half serious half mocking the whole entire thing what Shazam no 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 just no. like the whole well, no, because the whole it's, it's, but what, the whole story you just told about like Disney With and Disney Nickelodeon, and stuff? yeah, well, really? no. well it's no, but the thing is, is like we wouldn't be here without it. So yeah. at the same time yeah. of it being, really it's like, oh well, it didn't get picked up at the time. It was like devastating, but now it's like kind of a blessing in disguise yeah. because it's we're. He she just turned twenty. We're nineteen, and we would have been still signed with Disney until we're twenty two, probably, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is very hard to then break off of that brand when you're so old at the time. Well, in in reality, because you do get old, they kind of just like phase you out. Right, at a exactly. Yeah. So as yeah, somebody yeah, who yeah. is a Nickelodeon world, because yeah, really especially hard, the yeah. new EP we're putting out, which comes out, I guess, in like six hours, yeah. is yeah. our music, and it's not held back by because back everything yeah, had no. to be everything had to go through. Yes. legal and ha- all the words like some words had to be changed we'd have to rewrite songs stuff like that so we don't have to do that now and Euphoric yeah. is the new EP and it yes. is a really I mean it's a mature sound yeah. it's different really is, I yeah. mean really 100%. Rabbit Hole's a good record guys yeah it's, it's so Appreciate fun so much. have you heard I, Dirty Laundry do, n- no I've only Rabbit Hole and Smooth you That's gotta it. you gotta pre-order the EP well, so you well it comes out in laundry. seven hours so I'll hear the rest oh well I just <laughs> happen to have it on my, my phone <laughs> oh yeah. what is what exactly I'm allowed to going down a rabbit hole because I honestly don't know I feel like I should know Alice in Wonderland you I was right. Uh, well, that's I, I, not I, how it came a thing, but yeah, it's sort of that, it's like that Alice in Wonderland yeah. where... But it's basically the song is describing... You're basically getting really messed up by this girl mentally. Okay. But you're, like, you're kind of, you you're like kind of accepting it because you like her so much that you're accepting it and you're just spiraling like yourself you're down a rabbit hole. For and the just experience. Almost it's like okay. you're okay. not killing yourself, but you're like you're going hurting yourself... Path? Because you want to be with someone, but you're spiraling down a rabbit hole. But you're you're accepting you know, it. You're like I'm okay with you. You're not physically this. hurting yourself. You're emotionally hurting yeah. yourself. Yeah, like, but it's like yes. can, it's like, like almost like a worth it sort of thing. Okay. It's like yeah, I'm spiraling down a rabbit hole, but I'm okay with it and I'm accepting it. I mean, this can okay. also be relatable in the sense like <laughs> you know, if you if you had a, had a friend done that at one and they, point, helped, right? they made you make bad decisions. Yeah. yeah. And like you know you were you just went along with it because you know they were they were your friend and like. You know, like sometimes you, you like someone so much and you like hanging out with them that you're okay with making that bad decision. Yeah, so it's choice. like, you know, like you have to you have to look outside of whatever's happening and you have to look at what decision you have to think ahead. It's really it's tough sometimes because, you know, you're influenced by so many people. Yeah, making that song made me realize that like everybody is a reflection of yourself based on your decisions and actions. So like the people that you surround mm-hmm. yourself with. Mm-hmm. Do you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? No. Oh, yeah. Everybody is okay. So check this yeah. out. The people that you hang around is like yourself, but at the same, it's the people that that like the same thing that you do. You understand what I'm saying? So you you, ha- you pointed. You understand what I mean? I can Yeah, I kind of get it. Yeah. Wait, are you, saying, you are who you surround yourself with. Yeah. Is what he's trying I, to. Yeah. Second interview in a row. You are the company you keep. Yeah. It's not you know? based on that. I think it's more like that's what I learned you hang, from the song. Because you hang out with certain people, it's like people reflect based off of their opinions on other people what you are. It's almost my thing. It's like, if you hang out with someone that you can start hypothetically to is a, them and is start a to alcoholic, act like them as well, then I'll yeah. associate you with that. Right. Yes. That was my. I think that's what he was saying. I'm just trying to clear it up, right? Yes, but I'm this not is really an deep. No, that's it. that wasn't the point we were getting at. <laughs> Make it no. No one here is an alcoholic. No, 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 no we're good. We're good kids. I'm a soda alcoholic. Oh god. Soda alcoholic. I'm, I'm a water alcoholic with you know four bottles. Yeah, a day. dude's doing a gallon a day. You said making bad decisions. Dirty laundry is almost about past bad decisions you've made. Well, yeah, dirty. Like, you for, yeah, our, our okay. decisions make okay. us who we are. And they define <laughs> okay. us. Okay, but you have to live the funny. Them, but you, you have, have the to funny also thing is, like. You know, what, what are you I'm, saying, Liam? Sorry. I was gonna say the funny thing about the songs that I just realized when you said that is that they're kind of all are just sort of like you we know what? problems. We're gonna make bad decisions, but screw it. Let's do because, it. No, because well, dirty laundry is literally laundry we is all about, have baggage. Baggage, baggage yes. but I don't really care. You have it. I have it. Let's not talk about it. Let's just. 
be together. I would even say, like, of... let's not even talk about it. It's more like, let's, let's just accept, the, the accept who we are and, like, just keep going on with yeah. our life. It's just and like, we can also work yeah. through our problems together and, like, yeah. you know, become yeah. better people after that. Yep. So you all have slightly different definitions of the <laughs> yeah, songs yeah, that you no, create, but which I think it's totally okay. Connect. I think this is good. <laughs> but, but, I think it's but, but that's art, right? And yeah. that's music. Yeah. So music, you know, just like art in the eyes of the beholder, music is, you know, what it is to the ears, yeah. right? Yeah. Everybody exactly. has a different definition of a song. Yeah, exactly. When you're working together, I mean, one, rabbit hole, who is running lead vocal? Like who's getting real high on that? That's I'll give it up. Whoa! Look yeah. at you! I don't know that's if John could do that. Steven Tyler. <laughs> that's my Steven Tyler. I can <laughs> I can do Steven Tyler really well. Let's hear it. That's. You, what you want? I'm sick, so this is gonna be awful. Uh, but oh, here we go. Right, right, here you go. Yeah, no, no, seriously. Right. Um, you know what to I sing. can say away just to hear you breathe in. I can't do it when I'm sick. This sucks. <laughs> Um, the rabbit hole, too. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and for the first time, I can't let go. I would give it up, but I love it all. It's pretty, it's pretty hot. That's it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. It sounds good. It sounds yeah. good. It's yeah. good. It's yeah. good. Yeah, it's nice. It's, yeah. Is it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fine. I, I know I like it. It would be better, yeah, but. Yeah. yeah. I've been, you know, I've been sick since. Before Christmas, yeah. and it, you I've get been that, sick all of my holidays. Me too. It sucks. It's, it's, terrible. Terrible. it's horrible. Where'd you, you, go? you go? Drink I went to New York every day. You're exactly. Me too. Get I feel like it's out. just because I've flown back to like the, the between yeah, it being 12 temps. inches of snow back to, you know I what I mean? You. I think oh. just the different humidities just sort of screwed me over. Yes. I get it. Mm. Euphoric. That is EP. It yeah. releases on the same day as Camila Cabello's album. Yes. Oh, really? It does. What are we pretending like we don't know? No, no, I, I seriously really don't know. know. I knew no, that. No. <laughs> Liam's in. Jeez. You know, if this was the X Factor, I'd say, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> flashbacks. Oh. Uh, the two of you. But you. You know? <laughs> Kidding. Jokes. Um, but it is dropping on the same day. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Good Sick. company. Not bad. You are the company you keep. Um, exactly. You know, when you. Are you competitive with this EP? Do you want people to, you know, obviously you want people to hear your music, but are you kind of hooked in on how many downloads it's going to get? Is it going to break a char? Where it's going to well, be. We, I don't think we, we, we're, we, ever, we were ever so worried about how many people are listening to it because, I mean, I mean, at least care. for me, like, I I hope I can speak for all of you guys because, like, you know, it, I, it's nice to have people listen to it and have people like, like, give their definition or review or whatever that they're gonna, whatever feedback they're gonna give is what I'm saying. It's like it doesn't matter how many people listen to it, as mm -hmm. you know, I think. I hope people will enjoy it no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, 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 I agree with what you're saying. It's like like it doesn't it doesn't matter if the charts are different. What matters is that you took the time out of your life to listen to our music and that's that's all we need. That's the appreciation yeah. that, that we all look for and I'm I'm honestly cool with that. Yeah, it's the effect. I but, get it. But yeah. at the same time, it'd be if great. Say, it'd, it'd be great, great if it were you know 100%. It, it would be amazing. It'd I wouldn't be amazing. complain. Well, I think I think None honestly, of us would be honestly, with me, honestly, since that it's different than the music that we've made in the past. I think it should chart because yeah. it's, yeah. it really is I different. Agree. Yeah, no. in, in the best you haven't, you haven't sure heard it. Has X did is. Oh, really good. I think it has oh. a broader audience too. Yes. But that, so when you're in the studio, like who's running point on creative? Are you right, or working with writers and producers? So we write, we work with writers, producers, and then like yeah. for this EP specifically, like the guitar is all me. So like Got it. that Got stuff it. is I basically I guess ran creative on all that stuff. I just let my mind do whatever, and no oh. one really questioned it, so it worked. There you Ricky, go. okay, so we all if wrote, it down. I can I can I can break down I can break down each song by like who. Who did what the yeah, most? Yeah, but that's Liam, like I know, but like, Liam did the most on Rabbit Hole. Um, I did the most on Exit. Ricky and I, we we did Night Ride. Yeah, with uh, Jason. Remember that? Session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then um, Dirty Laundry. We all did together with our homie Dustin Atlas. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, you but mentioned X did. X did is great. Is that your, is that your favorite? We got a that's lot of my favorite. Rabbit Hole's I think my it's favorite. all of our favorite. That's my favorite. Rabbit Hole's my favorite. Okay. But X did is really I just think X You're is running lead on vocal there. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. gotcha. but, but on X did, I, I like it a lot because I think it's just the production of it. It's really well and it complements the vocals what? really well, which is a really catchy melody. And then I also got to play like lead guitar on it and like soloed a bit so I like that too. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever the limelight's on Liam, he's in. No, <laughs> no, I just I like guitar. So anything yeah. with guitar I appreciate a lot more. And what is Exit? Is that making somebody an ex? No. Okay. Exit. Yeah. All right, I I'll talk about it. Exit yeah. is about like okay, per se you had like a really really good relationship and like you fell in love with this girl and like say you were with them for like a few years, right? And then you guys break up, but 
months down the line, you meet somebody else, but at the same time, you're still holding on to that past relationship of all the good times you've you're had. You're thinking and like, about that. When that girl <laughs> pulls those good times, like the same one, it's your mind's like, oh, this is great. But it wasn't as good as how it was before. I get it. You know? Yeah, yeah. So the, the, every, main, the main line is yeah, the main line is you don't make me laugh like my ex did. Anyone who's oh, been in a serious ex relationship. Did. Okay, yeah, I got it. So, I thought it was one did. word. So okay. originally I wanted we wanted it's very well. I, I had this funny idea as if we just Your named it. Cracks it really did. <laughs> yeah. We just named it cute. <laughs> XD, like the laughing face. XD. Oh, like oh. Disney XD. Yeah. XD. Well, yeah, no. but like the laughing face. So the lowercase, yeah, the oh, lowercase oh, X yeah. and then yeah, D. Yeah, yeah. But then it was like, it doesn't really make sense. It would just be funny. Yeah. And kind of ironic because yeah. yeah. it's not <laughs> laughing Not marketable. Right. So we just put yeah. like the letter X and then D. Yeah, so we did X D. Gotcha. But yeah, it's... It, I mean, but at the same time, <laughs> really it's covering a really <laughs> kind of messed up topic where you don't want to let someone down and you don't want to like lead someone on. But what? the song production and like the stylistic uh, features of the song like totally brings it out of that. Yeah. And you don't even really think about how messed Sad up the song yeah. 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 We'll we'll play play uh, is. Yeah. 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 I think you're going to have to just listen to it to... Really, it just get the concept. When you feel it, you're dope. gonna be like, okay. "Ooh, you know, <laughs> ooh." It's deep. It wasn't <laughs> until you saying that leading somebody on in a relationship is sad, and that like it wasn't until you said that, that I've actually realized that it is sad, and I do lead people on, and I should really change Zach. that in my life. Zach, just gonna hey, we're here for you. Down. Though, it's okay, Zach. we're here. We're really here for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe you should you. be on the couch. Yeah, come, yeah. Yeah. come, come here. There's no room. Do you want to cuddle? <laughs> we can make room. No. Get out. Liam's like, no personal space. It's all about Liam, guys. Um, no, I mean, yeah, this is pretty lucky for you, you know. Yeah, you get oh, that absolutely. Call I mean, changes. I, I kind of had a, a easier road probably than most because oh. we're cousins. So that probably I just called him up. But I, at the same time, <laughs> I yeah, think what are you doing? A, I think, but it was still four years ago, so it's more the path and the effort we've had to put in that, the past four years. You, that you guys have been on quite a journey. Absolutely, we have. It's, and, it's fun. And you work hard. I've seen, like I said before, I see you at every freaking radio room. You're out there meeting every radio person. Like, you yeah, really have laid groundwork. It's we cool. Got good, um, we got good management. We got we good people behind us. Like, it's definitely not just here. We got, like, an amazing team. Do you share management with in real life? Yes, we do. We do. Well, yeah, we, we do. Yeah. How'd you find that out? I mean, you know, <laughs> I uh, huh? I ran into one of your managers <laughs> at, uh, I think it was Mr. Nile Joby Horan Show. Mr. Joby Hart. Yeah. 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 British bald boy. Yeah, British bald dude. Triple and he always pops the collar. Dude, there's like never look, not a pop collar. Yeah, his looks is uncomparable. He, he co-manages them. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I know. Right. I, yes, yeah. and I know. Um, uh, the lady with them. She's really nice. I don't from Ohio. Yeah. Oh, I met her once. Yeah, she has short hair. She's very sweet. Yeah, blonde lady. Yeah, she's really nice. Really, yes. really nice. Uh, okay. You guys, would you consider yourself a boy band? No. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, we, we're. I mean, we're boys <laughs> in a band, yes. but I, I don't think our no. music fits the description of a boy band. Like this music specifically, I don't think it fits the description of a boy band. Our no. last EP definitely. Just yeah. Definitely fits that. But, but I think. But, but we're still. We're like, still we're technically still boys, boys in a band, in a band so we're gonna like, get labeled that. As basic as it is, we are. Still yeah, if you boy break band. it down. Yeah. To gender and well, occupation. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, that's where you know, but but when you look at it in real life and you go, th that is a boy yeah. band. Yeah, they got five well, they, people in the they, band. Yeah, five people in the band. They were formed on a show called Boy Band. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was on a show called Boy Band. Uh, but yeah. I mean, like those guys are amazing. They're great yeah. vocalists. They're they're, they're good cool. at what they're good at what they do. And you know, I, we we definitely wish for the best of them. And their music killer as well. And even outside of them, I mean, the competition in that space. Well, right. The funny, it's yeah. Fierce. Well, there's where it's pretty much which their music is really cool. It's done by Max Martin. Yeah, so it was like really of good. Course. Sovin did an amazing job. Yeah, Sovin. Yeah. yeah, and then why don't we? Why don't we? But they they consider they don't consider themselves a boy band. They're like well, we're not a boy band. No, and I'm a like, boy band. you're the youngest. But they you're are, the youngest yeah. boy band. The youngest guys in a band that are boys that are boys yeah. they're like what they're Dude, they wear 16 17 they dance how could they they need to get in here right now they're, no yeah. i'm saying like they're a boy band they don't consider what? themselves it but i think they're more boy band than probably the Any other band. the other i don't know three. i mean there's a BTS, and that's not, bts too well, bts, 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 BTS is, so is, a, good too. I don't is really, a boy dance band i don't you know really what i mean <laughs> yeah, like, no but they sing too they also rap like they're a boy band i don't like but the thing is like Korean pop boy band yeah i agree that they're a boy band but at the same time it's like the rate I feel like that's like a different like they belong in a different genre on their own because I feel like there still needs to be like a European or an American boy band to be at the top and I think BTS can just live in their own they're BTS okay. they don't you know what I mean no okay, but they're like it. like they, I don't think that they're gonna, so crazy it's oh, dude and it's global yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm a fan like, I'm, they're really yeah, good I like them they're good I, dancers I can't I can't get behind it I don't understand what they're saying I got it I got it 
Come on. I'm not Are being rude. Like I think it's sick. No. I think the rapping is cool. I think the whole dancing, like it's sick visuals. But I can't go to a concert and not understand a word I'm listening to. Yeah, but they're trying to do a nice share in all of their songs. Yeah, and I mean, I but think they, they, no, they're great. If they're, you lose the Korean lyrics, you lose the globalness of it. Oh, and absolutely. I, and you all, I, I think if you lose yeah. Korean lyrics in those songs, you that's what lose makes it so them, good. Yeah, and you lose the message. I think what they try yeah. to do is that music has no borders. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yes. It's a universal language. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and it, it, it can make you feel mm -hmm. no matter the language that they're speaking. And yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's something that they do embody. Well, that's exactly. why. Yeah, yeah. Well, I totally agree with that. Wow. But but that's why I said. Is like I think that they're a separate entity as a boy band because like as like that's they're, yes. they're, them speaking Korean is so cool and people like it and it's there it's like it's awesome because it's something different but that my point was is that another boy band that probably sings in American has to exist alongside them I get and that's what I was they're saying. their own genre almost right that's what yeah. I'm saying it's like but, they're, they're but, redefining yeah. what it means to be famous because no one has be, became globally successful singing a language that probably 90% of the world doesn't know. Yeah, it's and it's And nuts. you go to, like, it's we were at, insane, what was it, we were at the American Music Awards? Yeah. They're singing, and the girls are singing in Korean. Yeah. And I don't even know if they know what they're singing, but they're doing it. <laughs> I mean, but, and it's cool. There is, like, the translation, so, I mean, you can <laughs> always... Look at you. Google yes. Translate. We, we got a real BTS fan <laughs> on the couch. I'm sorry, but I'm, like, I'm going to defend I'm just, them. Like, but I will I'm say, just, it's awesome. It's I will, crazy. Yeah, I will say, when it comes to, like, being called a boy band or being put in that category, you can put us in the boy band category, but when you see us perform, you're gonna know. Oh, they're not a boy band; they're a band. Because yeah, like we we we, we, perf we perform. We don't. I mean, we also perform with the live yeah, band. We yeah. give sometimes. Cool. It's almost that's yeah. like the best. That's that's when you'll know. Like if you see us live, then you'll know we're not. Then you'll know why we don't call ourselves a boy band. I get it. You know what There's I mean? No, but but, but you can put us in the boy band category. Like if we met in person, like. Like, oh, I'm in a band with two other guys, and they're like, oh, so you're in a boy band. Yeah, yeah I'm in a boy band, but come see him perform. Then you'll know. It's a you know rock I mean? band. Yeah. It's a pop rock band. Well, Whatever it is. I think it's yeah. cool because, you know, you see, like, One Direction, NSYNC, and all of them. Like, it was very, I don't, like, they're not, it's not high energy to an extent. Like, it's really cool visuals and stuff like that, but the people themselves aren't high energy when they perform. Yeah. Like, even when they're dancing, they're doing the moves, and it's like, but, like, we're, kind of crazy on stage we're, uh -huh. we're high energy bat, like bat. We, crazy like by, like by the second song sweat. you're dripping sweat great like, because awesome. like that we just like we perform and we like to just go all out and do like, you play guitar on stage i do he does. nice yeah. he you're like him. the nile of the group Yes. Nile played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not a boy band. That's, yeah, no, but that's the thing. No, yeah, no. But he's also like the Luke Hemmings. What? He's also like the Luke Hemmings. He played guitar. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah but okay, that's yeah, because no, 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 Five Seconds of Summer is always called a boy band. band. They, like I can, they're a straight up band, but they're considered a boy band. No, there's a difference between Five Sauce and One Direction because but weren't they considered One Direction doesn't play any instruments except for Nile. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Five Seconds of Summer is all they're a band band. Yeah, yeah. It's also honestly about the performance. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like when you see them perform, like you're like, are they a boy band or a band? Like when we had uh, when we had our show at the Roxy, which was sold out and it was sick. Uh, we had uh, Astro Angel perform in real life, and then us. When, when I saw in real life perform, I was like, yeah, they look like a, a very f strong boy band because they did they did like those kind of things yeah, that a boy very band boy would band do, yeah. like those type of moves. And like when we performed, and like I see back on the videos, you don't see me doing any of those videos. I'm literally just like bopping my head, getting whiplash the next day because I'm because I'm in it You're to win. Feeling it, yeah, exactly. I'm with you. But at the same time, it's like there's literally no negative connotation to the word boy band because no, the Beatles no, were no. a boy band. Yeah, yeah. the Beatles and were like the best. Boy they are band the ever. probably the <laughs> biggest boy band to ever exist. Yeah. And no one's gonna top that. But they were a boy band. Amen. And that's that's that. So to be considered a boy band is perfectly fine by my books because yeah, the Beatles cool were with that. one. Just wait until you see us perform. But then you'll be like, oh, are, damn. Do you think there's room for all these boy bands that are out now to succeed? I think what will happen is one will become. I mean, it it could be BTS. us. It could be it could be any of them. <laughs> Do you think BTS's success in America? Because when the no. a, when the AMAs were around, they were the biggest thing in the world. I agree, and I haven't heard anything about them since they released that song with Steve Aoki and Designer. But other than that, like, have you heard anything about BTS? They're in doing America? so much. I think since the, the AMAs is, though, they're mm -hmm. doing a they're lot. Not no, they're doing it on the radio too. They're like, not being the played on the radio. Is like because it's not American. One of the most well, important things exactly. to make you like a star, star. But why does? But why does the radio categorize? Because that? normal when people music listen to the radio. They but, can, but normal people talk like. But like regular girls, if they know BTS, they want to hear BTS on the radio. Yeah, and, and they know that. Then the radio people know that the young girls that'll get them what they need. 
the traction if they play the right music. But they're but still if, hesitant to play it, so it's like... Yeah. But it all depends. So in that mindset, which you're 100% right, right? And BTS does get played on the radio, but they get oh, played in Day Parted. So nighttime is where BTS is really going to be played, and that's yeah. where it's actually being played in stations yeah. across the country because that's when the majority of younger girls are actually listening. Think right, about it. Mm-hmm. They're at school all day. Their average commute to school might only be 15 yeah. minutes. You know, it's a different world. So at night, the song is being played. But the question is, at what point do you break out of just the 13 to 24 year old crowd and you go mainstream, right? And you're yeah. played in, you know, d- different day parts when like y- your mom is listening right, that's at why, work. Yeah. Or, well, that's why yeah. I think, you know, people are just driving around like making deliveries in the afternoon. I think they that's have why good, enough songs yeah. to be played at those times too. But I, well, that's why I, I, that's why timeless yeah. songs. That's why I do think, no, that, very no, he's talking about like, think, just like going into the supermarket and hearing Taylor Swift in the supermarket. Like, like you're not going to hear like like all the time. The song, it'll always be played. For example, at Sharon. But yeah. that's the, but that's like timeless is like if you're talking like Ed Sheeran like he'll be played for the next 80 years. Forever. We're talking about yeah. songs that'll be played yeah. in their lifespan when they're popular Eight months everywhere. A year. Okay. So it's okay. a different okay. But but but, yeah. but but yeah, in their lifespan. So like with BTS, you're saying that they're not playing on the radio and they do get some radio play. It's just not a song that can be played 24/7 around the clock. Well, I think there's I think some the whole music thing that is, can play always. Yeah, I don't think that the yeah. Well, I would say like fangirls like boy band fangirls probably I would say majority of them aren't over One Direction yet and like no, I'm, I'm not over One Direction no, I'm not over One Direction you know what I mean we're like they're still <laughs> they're still holding on to their it their solo music's incredible I'm right. waiting yeah. for that reunion album same like. but, um, but I think it's like <laughs> that's why I was saying is like I think there needs to be an American boy band and whether it happens in this year or the next five years whenever it happens it's gonna happen and they're gonna live and coincide with BTS because it's two different things so I, I think that's perfect because that boy bands are they, they're they gonna be played in the supermarkets they're gonna be played everywhere everyone's gonna know their songs they're either gonna say this is annoying as hell as a parent some of them say that or and all the girls are going to freak out about it but even and, in that they have their sea of really quality records absolutely like what they absolutely yeah. but I that's why they i have some story of uh, well, bts yeah sorry yeah uh, no, but like i think yeah. they do too i just but, just i just and i think BTS. we have a lot more to hear from them still yeah i, I agree are you saying in two three years from now you think bts is going to be massive in america like they are currently if like, they make we'll american lyrics it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a time thing you know that's we'll I, if they make how, american lyrics yeah. well, I, well, I still like them but like it's hard for other people to catch on because well, i think it's like, more adult. it's also you know it's the mindset because some people are afraid of listening to something different like kanye west his music was very different yeah. when he when he first released it even the latest album. Yeah. But you know, and, he, like, change, but then he changes st- and then everything. When yeah. he changes his style and the, the way it sounds, people start to catch on when more people and more people start to listen to it. You just, it, take, it takes time. And I think that's what we're going to end up seeing with BTS. And I think yeah, they're I in a agree. position because of their global fan base that a ton of really incredible artists will work with them. Yeah, yeah no, and, I agree. And not every lyric in the song needs to be Korean, but if they're doing, you know, a 20-80 split, right? 20% Korean, 80%, you know, English. And they you, sing the chorus on a song with I don't know if they do that, 80% English. Like, you, you get, but they, the thing is, mostly, like, they'll get played if, Korean. like, Selena Gomez called them up and said, I want to do a song with you. I'll sing American in the verses, yeah. and I just want you to sing the chorus in Korean. That That'll get played big. on the radio. That mm-hmm. would but it's not because BTS is on it. It's because Selena Gomez is singing American on it. It would make them more popular. You know what I mean? Though. But it would yeah. make them more popular, and maybe it would turn the tide more towards radio, but I don't think the world is ready to have or, multi, no, you're right. multi-lingual Lingual. radio, is, I guess, time, where man. I'm sort I, of at. Like, hey, that's actually really eventually, true. Like, I I, like, I'm sure that. at one point in the world, well, yeah. Despacito... Despacito was that the, but that's because helps. it was Justin Bieber. Yeah. Is that's my point. Yeah, but that song was catchy. You can it was so, so catchy, catchy. Yeah, it was but nobody record. heard it. But it didn't blow up in America until, until Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Yeah. That's right. No, well, okay. Of course, it takes that one person to champion it. But does that d- dilute the quality of the record? I Not know. No, it doesn't Not dilute the quality of the record, but enhances even, it. It, yeah. it it enhances it in a way of how people perceive the industry. Of course. But I do think that also Spanish music has kind of already been in that thing where yeah, it can be played. Here, like, yeah. Spanish oh, yeah. is a little different. It's easier to I bring think Spanish to America than K-pop. Maria yeah, Maria, that's, like, like well, by Korean Carlos is Santana. so different where Spanish is like, people, I, like, I know what Despacito means. Yeah. Like, I, I can, rela- I can like, even pick out certain words just from hearing it because it's in our country. The The language is in our country. Yeah, I understand. Like, I, could, I could see someone singing Italian on the radio because... It's similar enough 
to where you're not going to be speaking Korean. Well, Italian, an French, expression. and Spanish all come from Latin. Latin. And so do we. Yeah, but, so it's like, well, this but, is a beautiful discussion. Yeah, this yeah. is a long discussion. <laughs> See, it's like a debate show. It's and like a debate. But, uh, oh, hey, no, it's great. I love music. But but I, like, awesome. I love their music. I love what they're doing. I'm just saying I think that for right now in the world, like American If you have lyrics. great production, if you have a great hook and the hook is in English and other parts of that song Absolutely. are in Korean, yep. I really do think that they could I agree eventually with that. have a hit. I agree with that. Really? Holy BTS, yes. hit us up. Let's do a collab. Th- think of, <laughs> just think about what makes... 11 people? Would it be 11 people, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's seven, I think. There's seven? Ten. Oh, so it's ten. So seven. Many Double digits, baby. Seven. You guys think you're the ones to take BTS to the next level? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm down. I mean, I do it. <laughs> That's the... Honestly, let's, let's anybody try. can get... Anybody can reach that next level. It just depends on how how real they want to be with themselves and how much they want to put it in the song. I think like X did. Like It'd be sick to have someone collab on that because that song is... It doesn't even have that. to be BTS, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. X, like our song X did, like back on the EP. Who else should we put out into the universe? Who do yeah. you want to see on it? I, I any like anyone Anybody. that the, the song is sick. Choice I think of that. On. I mean, literally anyone. Choice I, I would because anyone that very... wanted to do it because anyone that was that big that wanted to bring it out there because I think the song is absolutely sick. Could and do I like think Khalid, that, Daniel C. Yeah, Miguel. even a, even a girl singing on it would be really cool. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, let's just go down the every list. just every celebrity. Imagine who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Um. Female artist that you were talking to me about. SZA. SZA. Oh. SZA. SZA. No, 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 SZA's good on everything. Recommendation for you all to listen to: Francis and the Lights. Francis and the Lights. Okay. That. All right. I've heard of Francis. New and album's the phenomenal. Mm, have you heard, heard Rockhampton? Uh, I've heard of him. Troy was talking about. It's, it's a group yesterday. of like 15 people. <clears throat> okay, but like, <laughs> but so they're crazy. but they're standout m- members, right? He was talking about Kevin. I, um, Kevin Abstract. Yeah. Yes. He's like, in like. His name just defines who he is. Like he's so abstract. crazy. Is he like, crazy? Yeah, he's crazy. Kevin. He's sick All his art, <laughs> Kevin. music videos, visuals, <laughs> I, the sound in general. Dude, like, I wish I had that last name. That last name is sick. Dude, abstract. abstract That's so cool. Brockhampton. Dude. Listen to them. I will. It's so good. I, I don't know if Abstract's his Christian name. <laughs> <laughs> he might have oh, made, yeah. up, made it up. But still, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, it's nice. I wouldn't yeah. complain if it was my last name. No. Abstract. Yo, no, no, that's Emory his stage abstract. name. That's nice his stage name. His real name is Ian. Look oh, at you. What? There you go. I know this. Trust me. I did <laughs> my research. There you go. Kevin Abstract. Like, yo, why would Ian? Why would Ian <laughs> downgrade himself from the uncommon to the common? I mean, I get it. Common works. But it's like, like Ian <laughs> or something. <clears throat> Forever in your mind. Oh they have my. a new EP. It's dropping. It should be out right now. Actually, why? Why euphoric? What is euphoric? Euphoric is the. Do you not know the definition of that word? Do you not know the no clue. Yo, I didn't it, know until he told me. It's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've been using the word euphoric so much. Euphoric. Euphoria. He euphoria. says euphorically uh, euphoric. detrimental, like. But yeah, but euphoric <laughs> in itself is like just I think it's pretty pure sure it's, happiness. It's like pure. It's like pure happiness, like to another level. Past detrimental is happy, the negative excited. Word, like it's like its own. I I look at euphoric as like honest appreciation. Like when you're when you know how you you know how people say you gotta love yourself before you love other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like if you truly love yourself and like you truly accept who you are, and then you express that to the other people, that's euphoria in itself because. If if you're not if if you don't if you don't like truly love yourself and truly express yourself honestly, then how are people going to honestly know you? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you have to wh- express yourself and like let yourself open yourself up is what you're saying, right? Yeah, like and- let go. Like don't hold on to the past. Let go of all the things that just like keep you down. But like know that there are things that keep you down because you need to have a balanced life. You know, I look at life as a balance, positive and negative. I never, I never push away either or. I always accept everything that comes to me, and I, I always figure out a way how to like overcome it and grow on from it. Because I just, you know, every time I think of the word euphoric, it's like always, like always, take a second to like take yourself out of your shoes and like have a bird's eye perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then, and then on the music side of it, obviously, because euphoric has to relate to the album. Album? I, think, I'll, 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 I always do that. <laughs> and then I always get corrected and then I feel like an idiot. Um, but I think euphoric is obviously, I think it's a really cool word, which is great for EP covers. So that, go, but that yeah. is not really the point. That's just like a side thing. But I also think we're truly euphoric about the music now that we're able to put out. So I think it works with where we're going. And I think that it's something that it's just just exciting it's excitement yeah. and that's what this new music is and the, and the fact that we've been doing this so long <clears throat> even though that we're i, I i've realized like out of all the 
American bands out there right now, we're the ones with the most experience. We've been doing this the most, longer than in real life, pretty much. Why don't we? And any other band that is rising right now, we've been or, doing this for about half a decade. Or it's fallen. There's a couple that have yeah. been <laughs> up. And we've then, we've no, been doing this like, for half yeah, a decade, yeah. but the fact that we're still able to just keep going, and like even if we're not blown up, but the fact that we're still able to keep going, like that's... That's true. We just that's like making music. That's, yeah. that's that's that already shows that that we have appreciation from an outside entity. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's just like that. That's euphoric in itself. Like that is like the fact that somebody will do that for us. That's like whoa. That's like you're giving me you're giving me you're everything giving that's you, purpose yeah. and a, you give, yeah. a job and like a we still have the fans and, and everything. Yeah. It's like and we cool wouldn't guitars. be anywhere without them. I think no one would be anywhere without their fans. Kidding. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a crazy. Joke. We have covered a lot in this conversation. Yeah, we have. Uh, we covered how you started. We covered, obviously, Euphoric, which is the EP. Smooth is on that rabbit hole. X did. Smooth, no, is, smooth not is not on it. Oh, whoa. Sorry. Yeah. Night yeah. Ride. No, okay. Night Ride. Talk about you know what? We, we, we keep that in the same genre, like, entity. That was smooth actually the break. That was actually the okay. tester sort of thing. So yeah, it's like, like we wouldn't know how people would respond to changing the style. Yeah. So, like, Smooth and Missing were kind of like feelers. It was like FIYM EP, Smooth, Euphoric. Got yeah. it. So it was yeah. kind of like a tester. So you're making, like, a smooth transition. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta give you death. Wow. And that's where we oh, that that's where we gotta end it, right? <laughs> 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 that was awesome. <laughs> Speaking of smooth. Air, air bump. That was dope. There we go. That was I guess dope. that's the, the fourth one is night ride, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. We can't end on a higher moment than that. <laughs> or a lower so. moment. <laughs> Forever in your mind, Euphoric is the EP. We've covered a lot. We talked about Nickelodeon, we talked about Disney. BTS. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate we appreciate you too, man. Appreciate you guys too. Appreciate Emery, all you. you guys. Ricky, Liam, all <laughs> of you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Forever in your Much mind, love. everybody. Right. Zach Sang. The homies. Chilling in the studio. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere, so click them. Thanks for watching.